Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In ASCII, American Standard Code of Information Interchange, the capital letters are represented by the numbers 65 through 90, and the lowercase letters start up again at 97. And we're going to look at how these numbers, which are in base 10, can be converted to binary. This is useful because many computers use binary, and um, the purpose of these numerical codes is for the use by computers. So let's talk about how to convert the number 65, which represents the letter A in ASCII, into binary. So whenever you want to convert 5 to base 2, or really any decimal number to a binary number, we're going to divide it repeatedly by 2. So we're going to take 65, divide it by 2, and get 32 remainder 1. And then we're going to repeat that process over and over again, making a note of the remainder until we get down to 0 with some remainder. Now when you're dividing by 2, the remainder is always going to be 0 or 1, and those remainders represent the digits in our binary version of 65. So notice we get down to 2 divided by 2 equals 1, remainder 0. And we have to go one more step. We always have to go one more step beyond the number that is actually smaller than the divisor. So we're going to say 1 divided by 2 is 0 because 2 can't go into 1, remainder 1. So now looking at these remainders from bottom to top, we're going to have our new version of the number 65. 1, 0, 0, 0, 5 zeros and a 1. It looks like the number 1 million and 1, but remember each place value has a different meaning in binary than it does in base 10. So counting on from 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is our binary version of the letter capital A, the next number is 1 greater than that. Now this number looks like a million and 1, but actually it's not, it's 65. So the next number is not a million and two. In fact, there's no two in the binary system. We only have zeros and ones. So if we increase that last digit one to a two, instead we have to carry the one. So we're going to have the next number will be one zero 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 one zero, right? Because when it's just like in base 10, when you get to the number nine, you have to move up to the next digit to one zero to the number 10. When you get to the number uh, 99, you have to move up to 100. So since one is the greatest value of a digit in binary, uh, we can't go any bigger than that. So we move up one place value. So what do you think 67 would be or one more than one zero 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 one zero? Well, that one, our ones digit can be increased because we can move it up to a one. So we're going to have one, zero, 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 one, one. Now, counting up from there, what are we going to do? Well, we need to increase the ones digit. We can't go up to a two. Then that would mean we'd carry over to the next digit, but we can't go up to a 2 there, so we have to go up to the next digit. So this is just like in base 10 when we have a 99 and we have to go up to 100, except it's a 1-1 one, one, and then 100 in binary. And one nice thing about binary, well, it's just like base 10. It's very repetitive. So um, from 100, if we look back to the top, we're going to have 101, 100 and one zero hundred one one. I shouldn't say a hundred technically because um, this doesn't represent a hundred. <laughs> but in any case, we have uh, one zero zero is going to be followed by one zero one. Right. The last two digits are going to repeat like they did in the first three numbers we put up there. And then we're going to have in, after one zero one, we're going to have one one zero. And then what did we have after one zero for the last two digits? We had one one, one zero 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 one one one, and so on. For 97, actually, if you divide it by two, as we discussed before, successive times, you're going to end up with the remainders one one zero 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 one. 
So you can kind of see the similarity between 65 and 97. You can see why both of them were chosen. So we're starting again at 1. You can kind of just keep carrying that 1, 1 at the beginning down. So we're going to have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 for the next value. Increasing that 1, 0 by 1. We have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Increasing 1, 1. After 1, 1, what came next? 100. Well, not really 100, but 1, 0, 0. So that's going to be 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, and then those, those first two digits, the, the two furthest to the right, are going to repeat, like following the pattern from the first, from 97, 98, 99. So we're going to have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and then that pattern would continue. What would the next value in each of these columns be, if you think about it? So 111 is the biggest three-digit number in binary. So the letter capital H would be 100100. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And the letter little h, lowercase h, 110100. One, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And you just continue in that way.